In the mist of the inland sea, a steel monster awakens. The world has never seen its like. Imamato! 70,000 tons of imperial ambition! Project A140. It must remain a phantom. Secrecy is absolute. Even the workers, workers do not know her name. From the fires of the foundry, the Empire forges its armor. November 4th, 1937. The spine of the beast is laid. A double bottom to survive the deadliest torpedoes. She rises like a cathedral of steel. Six million rivets, each one driven by hand. Hold it steady! Strike! Strike! Sixteen inches of hardened steel. Nothing should penetrate this. A secret design. The bulbous bow reduces drag for speed. One hundred and fifty thousand horsepower engines. Propellers the size of a two story house. The command tower reaches for the heavens. The largest naval guns ever built, 18.1 inches. Moved under darkness, hidden from American spies. The ultimate weapon is assembled. A fortress of steel, bristling with secondary guns. Hundreds of guns to darken the sky. The 15-meter rangefinder, the sharpest eyes on the ocean. Japanese Cypress, a touch of tradition on a machine of war. She wears the dark gray of the Imperial Navy. The time has come. Steel meets water. All eyes were on the waterline as the dock flooded. The fate of the vessel rested on these figures. She floats. The calculations were perfect. Yamato leaves her concrete cradle. The hull is complete. Now, she needs a soul. The Navy takes command. Turn it up. Feeding 2,500 men is a military operation itself. Surprising luxury for a vessel of destruction. A floating hospital waiting for the wounded. Shells weighing a ton rise from the depths. The Type 91 shell, designed to dive underwater and strike. The electric nerve system is, is connected. Japan's first shipborne radar. The crew arrive! The ship comes alive! They step into history.
unaware of their fate. The boilers take their first breath. A dragon breathes in smoke. Sea trials commence. For her size, she dances on the waves. Twenty-seven knots, a charging mountain. Warning, main battery test. The recoil alone could tear a lesser ship apart. The tests are successful. December 16, 1941. Yamato enters service. The flagship of the Combined Fleet. Life on board is discipline and sweat. A health body for the Emperor! <laughs> Ice cold, cold. <laughs> the best thing on this ship. But the world was changing. Aircraft carriers were taking the lead. They called her Hotel Yamato, too precious to risk. But the threat was now from the air. She needed more gun. Operation Tengo, a one-way journey. The giant sails for her final battle. The Golden Chrysanthemum, the seal of the Emperor himself. A mechanical brain of gears to calculate death. The monster carries its own eyes. Seven float planes. Blasted into the air to spot targets. Retrieval is a delicate dance on the waves. Mirrors five feet wide to pierce the night. Steel lungs breathing for three thousand men. Japan's first air-conditioned ship to keep the powder cool, not the men. Each link weighs as much as a man. Six thousand tons of fuel. Her thirst is insatiable. Turning the ocean into drinking water. Everything is ready for the casualties. A floating city provides for every need. The Yamato Shrine. The gods travel with them. Tons of rice steamed every single day. The bath. A sailor's only moment of peace. Nothing stays. The ocean swallows all. Fire is the greatest enemy on board.
1,147 watertight compartments. To survive, they must be ready to flood their own ship. Deep in the bowels, the pumps are waiting. Enough electricity to light a small city. She even prints her own daily newspaper. A military band to lift the spirits. Human eyes remain the first line of defense. Japanese optics were the best in the world. Every message is encrypted. Silence is a weapon. The laundry never stops. 1944. The big guns are no longer enough. The deck is crowded with anti-aircraft guns. Finally, radar. But is it too late? The beautiful cypress wood is blackened with soot. Pouring concrete to protect the rudder. Desperate measures. Last words for their families. They leave a part of themselves behind for burial. Only enough fuel for a one-way trip. The Farewell Cup. against so many! The giant tries to dance. The survivors is home! The disaster unfolded rapidly! Oh. Blood starboard engine room. Correct the list. She is leaning too far. She cannot recover. The order is given. Every man for himself. The captain remains with his ship. The explosion was seen from Japan. And then, silence. Back on land, the plans are burned. Nothing must remain. She rests now, 300 meters down. A marvel of engineering, born in the wrong age. Built with blood, sweat, and absolute conviction. Few photographs exist. She was a ghost. She embodied the soul of an empire. The cradle is empty. Yamato!
Tonto!